When we were asked to submit nominations for honorees for this year's Women Who Care Breakfast, my thoughts went to Commissioner William Evans. What resonates with me, given the Red Cross's long-standing support of the Boston Marathon, is his response on Marathon Monday 2013. Having just run Boston, he jumped into uniform and worked around the clock to secure what was now a crime scene. This is a man who puts others before himself and is truly a man who cares. My name is William Evans. I'm the police commissioner for the city of Boston. Um, I've been with the Boston Police Department for 36 years um, and I've been the commissioner uh, for almost three years now. I was the youngest of six boys who uh, grew up in South Boston. my three children here and I, I've been a resident there all my life. You know, I, I was unfortunate that I lost both my mom and dad at a young age and, and a brother, uh, but you know, my brothers rallied around me uh, to make sure I was brought up. The community really looked after me and honestly looking back, uh, there's no other way I would want to grow up given the challenges that I had. It shaped my life, it really has, I think. You know, I see a lot of tragedy in this job, unfortunately, on the streets of the city and I something that I don't think I have ever recovered from and all my brothers have and I'm sure the families out there who see the senseless violence, they never recover from. You know, we continually are pushing that on the offices that you know, treat people like as if they were family. I want to thank the Red Cross throughout my career. I've seen them there when we need them. I've seen them at fires uh, when people in the you know, zero degree temperature are out there needing a cup of coffee, they're there. And whether it's getting them services or helping the firemen stay warm, I've seen them out there. I've seen them in numerous tragedies, including the Boston Marathon bomb, where when people were in need, the Red Cross was there. Four times a year, we're lucky enough to host a blood uh, drive in Boston Police Headquarters. And, uh, you know, we have a tremendous turnout every year. Uh, and, and what drives us is to survive and that's why every chance we can we support the Red Cross. I think working with the community is real important. You know, no one does community policing better than the Boston Police as far as I'm concerned. You know, we go on nightly peace walks, you know, we go on flashlight walks, coffee with a cop, youth police dialogues and the importance of that is that's the way we're going to build trust and respect with the community. Growing up in the city, growing up in the predicament that I did with my um, losing my parents and my brother support me. I, I, I look at myself and I look at a lot of kids in neighborhoods who are less fortunate. And I see myself in those neighborhoods. A lot of kids who need the opportunity that I got. You know, I had a local priest, Father White, who seen that I had all this loss come to me and get me into a good school. And I always say I didn't have the brains or I didn't have the money, but he got me in there. And when I look at these young kids in the neighborhood, they're very much a like I am. All they need is the Father White to step into their life and give them an opportunity, whether it be in school, a job, and they can someday be the best they can.